Hey, this is Warren Redlick. I'm in Kakegawa, Japan at Ogasayama Sports Park. This is pretty cool. This is the, the Japan Society of Automotive Engineers Formula JSAE competition event. This is their big event for the year. A whole bunch of universities have teams that build vehicles, both internal combustion engine vehicles and EV teams. And they are right now in this parking lot area. A lot of them are assembling. Uh, today is an inspection day. There's no real racing as far as I understand today. The racing starts tomorrow. Racing isn't really racing. They put them through some tests, but uh, pretty cool. There's this section here. There's another parking lot. This is parking lot 11. There's parking lot 10 where I think the, uh, a lot of the events are actually taking place. Here I just looked and a bunch of teams are working on their vehicles, getting them ready to go. This is the EV technical inspection area. They are set up to inspect the electric vehicles. I think it's all supposed to start at 11 a.m. and I think it is actually around 11 a.m. So there's a couple teams in here right now. This is the Shizuoka, I don't know, University of Technology, Shizuoka Industrial University, something like that. The one that's in the foreground. There's another team in the background. If you can see a guy with an orange cap back there and black shirts, that's a different team. There are a couple of EV teams over here. So the guys in the yellow shirts, I think, are working for the Japan Memorial Society of Engineers group. And the guys in the black shirts are the team members, and that's their vehicle. And this one is Nagoya, I think this is Nagoya University, uh, Nagoya Institute of Technology, maybe. I can't really read that. It says Nagoya Kogyo Daigaku. Sounds like Nagoya Industrial University, but they have an EB team. And then this other team is Shizuoka. My Japanese isn't that good. The first two characters are Shizuoka, the last two characters are University. Shizuoka Daigaku. The part in the middle, I'm not sure. But they've lifted, they've raised the car up. And uh, the other car is not raised up. And the Shizuoka team, Shizuoka University team is coming in with their EV. Interesting. They were able to get it over the lip without a problem. I, I believe these teams, you can see all the sponsorships on the vehicles. I see a lot of them have shirts that have sponsorships on them. So I believe that's part of the game. And imagine the American, there's an, a similar competition in America. The Society, the Society of Automotive Engineers in America does the same thing. University of Florida has an electric vehicle team. I have met with them in the past. So really cool stuff. Uh, they, they inspect the vehicles. This is a part of the process. There was a registration day. There were a bunch of technical inspections before. There's more technical inspections now. Getting these teams qualified to do the rest of the competition. This is the internal combustion engine side of, engine side of things. The beautiful natural scenery that surrounds the event. You see these beautiful small hills covered in trees. And I don't know if you can hear them on the, on the video, but I can hear cicada, uh, rhythmic cicada insects buzzing. This looks like an internal combustion engine vehicle that's coming across the street to go to the inspection. And you can see how many people are on the team. And they don't drive it, they push it. And uh, I don't think this lip will be a problem for them. Oh, they have to be careful with the curvature of the road because their vehicle is so low to the ground. Oh, there's a bump. They're being careful with the bump. See, they're being super careful with the bump because the vehicle rides so low. And this is Kyushu Kogyo Daigaku. Kyushu Institute of Technology is uh, the name. This is the Nagoya University team, which is arguably the top team. Wheeling their vehicle over to the inspection site. Apparently, I was just talking to somebody, apparently the Shizuoka team is also very, very competitive this year. I don't think historically they've been very competitive, but this year they are. Supposedly the Shizuoka team has some sort of record acceleration. So the, the blue shirts, that's the Nagoya University team. You can see 
Goyle University E04 on the side there. A lot of sponsorships. Nagoya is uh, near, to near Toyota's home city, or Toyota's home city is actually built out of, out of it. It's an experienced team. They've been participating in this competition for a few years as EVs. And I think they won last year, or maybe the last few years. You know, one of the challenges these teams face, I was talking to a team from Bangladesh and they struggle with funding and they struggle with getting visas and they're finally here this year. So there's this strange process where they're measuring something. They've got a measuring tape and the guy's getting it like right up close to his eye and maybe something close to his ear and they're measuring something over the vehicle. I'm not sure what the purpose of this is, but they're doing something. So while the car is being measured and inspected, you can see that the team is over here, the light blue shirts, watching the process. And there's a couple of team members who are inside working with the, the inspectors. And he's looking at some specific issue and pointing out some maybe potential problem with the vehicle. That's something they have to work on. The Nagoya team is coming back in. I think they made some kind of adjustment in the stins where they put like clear tape over the holes to address the concern the inspector had. The Nagoya University team is right here, and just on the other side of it is the Toyohashi University of Technology team. These are two of the most competitive teams in the competition. Apparently Shizuoka University is also very competitive. Those are probably the top three teams. The Toyohashi vehicle looks very different. Um, this is the first time I've seen it. it. Looks smaller, looks lighter, looks like a different, totally different material. Very interesting design. So they have historically been very competitive to see if they're competitive this year.